These seven hand-picked facts I have ordered by their suspected rarity. And when I say suspected rarity, I mean something that is not often talked about, something that is difficult to figure out yourself, or something that when I tell somebody, they're surprised aren't it. Coming in at number seven is the World Defense Channel. The World Defense Channel is something that was made to facilitate world PvP very early on in Vanilla WoW. It had restrictions and talking in it. Back in 2019 Classic, when we began Phase 2, World Defense would always be spamming you. And because this channel was made to facilitate World PvP, it got removed, I believe, sometime shortly after Vanilla. Now, number six is one that if you're an alliance, you are going to want to know this for hardcore. And this is that a Light of a Loon is technically a potion, just like a healing potion, a swiftness potion, a whatever else is going to be on the potion cooldown. Being a one-use item you get from a quest, I don't think it's something that many people can easily figure out. And I've seen at least a couple hardcore clips where somebody figured this out too late. Now this one, ever since Hardcore came out, I think is becoming more well-known. The Cockroach is the only critter in the game that has social aggro with other mobs. Now this is a very strange thing for multiple reasons, not just because it's a critter. And to be honest, the main reason this one made the list is because this is one of the most recently found out facts for myself. I never knew that a roach would pull mobs, but maybe that's because as a warrior I always kill critters for rage. Coming in at number four is one that I know a lot of people don't know about because of just how much panic can ensue from these kinds of mobs. And I'm talking about a token mob. What is a token mob? It's a mob that is summoned, but it's not a normal summon. It's a type of summon that can be killed by anything, including a demoralizing shout. As you can see here in SFK, the Lupine Delusions, not the Lupine Horrors, just the Lupine Delusions that are summoned by the Horrors, they are these token mobs that can be taken out by a single demoralizing shout. No damage required. Warte mal ganz kurz. We make it like this. Dann machen wir kurz einmal das kaputt. Und dann rennen wir einfach. Alles easy. Ich, ich hab, ich hab den, der Vanish war bad. Der Vanish war ganz bad. Ich glaube, ich bin hier dead. Chat, ich glaube, ich bin hier dead. Coming in at number three is another tough lesson I've seen people have to learn, and this is that pets, including target dummies, will keep you in combat. Now, this is due to their nature of being in a party with you. As long as that pet or target dummy is still alive, you are going to be in combat. And a lot of times, like you've seen in this clip, Mobs will just know where you are even once you have vanished, so it's very important that if you're going to do such a sneak maneuver, you kind of wait for the target dummy to die, but that's much easier said than done. Now this next one at number two is one that the only way you can even know about it is if you go onto a database, and this is that Every mob in the game is part of a faction, even if you can't see that faction. This is important because what this means is that social aggro follows these factions, meaning that a lot of times if you see two mobs in the wilderness that are two different kinds of animals, they probably will not aggro even if they're right on top of each other. You can pull one and you're not going to pull the other. But this is also why, for instance, if there are two spiders, no matter what they're doing, you know, if they're two independent wandering mobs and those spiders somehow get close enough to social aggro, they will social aggro. And this is all because of this hidden faction system. Coming in at number one is a hidden mechanic that has to do with the defense skill. Now, there's a lot of hidden things about the defense skill such as the fact that the higher your defense is, the less chance you'll be critically hit by a mob. At the same time, a mob's chance to miss you will increase. And then the visible part of defense is the fact that it raises block dodge parry. 
But the one thing about defense that is very rarely known is that it will decrease the chance that you are dazed. This is something that I have long known about, and it's also something that you really get a feel for as you're leveling through the game. If you're, say, a level 30, running through your starting zone, you pretty much never get dazed by a mob. Surprisingly, I actually found a clip online that showcases this exact thing, and the guy who found it out himself, he even figured out the way that you can make yourself immune to daze at level 60. That was the one thing that I never figured out myself, so if you want to learn it, you can learn it from his video. I put it down below in the description. Right, and then I'm gonna hit that. Sorry, I just grabbed and threaded on it everything. Oh my god! Whoops. <laughs> 